Hello everyone, welcome back to the Revival. It is the official final last day of the season. Uh, that's a mixture of words which sounded completely unnatural coming out of my mouth. And uh, we're up against the old boys in the yearly testimonial. And dear God, what a team they have this year. Just look at the names on that starting eleven. let alone the ones on the bench. I'm well aware of at least one striker, I believe, Karim Benzema is in the team this year and Falcao and Mandzukic and De Rossi Benucci Buffon oh my lord <laughs> and on top of everything else we have ramped up the difficulty to superstar I thought we'll get a little bit of a head start and we'll uh, we'll have a go on superstar difficulty for this game oh god we we've got our <sighs> We've really got our work cut out today, uh, people. We really do. Okay, so uh, decision, decisions, decisions as far as who's playing, who's not playing. Coco's leaving us, so there's no real point in having him on the bench. I know Farfan's leaving us as well, but he's a better player and he's in better form. So we're going to keep him on the bench for us. Um, I feel like even though he's running an orange, we're probably going to stick with Tadebo alongside Mats Hummels. Willems will play on the left-hand side. Machia looking a little bit under the weather himself. Henrik's on the right. It's kind of tempting. Should we put Juan Fran in? Yeah, let, let's give Juan Fran a run out. And let's give Zakaria some game time in the first half as well. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. I think that's pretty much going to do it. We will... Uh, make a few substitutions second half. I'm definitely going to bring on Jalinton. I think Paredes deserves to get another go. But I honestly, at superstar difficulty with those names on the bench alone, let alone the names starting the game, we're going to be hard pressed. We really are. The only hope we've got is that actually their wide players are not massively great. And there is a route through their midfield where we might be able to outnumber them and outpace them. I think pace is going to be a big thing for us today. Now, strips. Hmm, what can we go with? I don't think the white one's going to work for us. Let's go with blue for the uh, for the old boys. Okay, that's going to do it. I think that's pretty much our lineup for today. Uh, so let's kick off and see what we have in store for us next season when we play on superstar difficulty as opposed to top player that we have been playing on since the inception of this series. It's going to be an interesting season coming up. We have a couple of new signings coming in. We have a couple of people going out. There's probably going to be one or two youth players making more of an impact next season. I would hope to expect and expect to see Xavi step up next year. But the real interesting thing is going to be how we cope with the difficulty turned up to superstar. Let's get this game underway and see how we do. Uh, now you'll notice that the crowd noise is back. Apparently all I had to do to remedy the problem, and uh, anyone who's an IT expert will know this one, uh, was turn it off and turn it back on again. That's literally all it took. But the problem is you don't know that you have a problem until you review the footage. And that is unfortunately the life of a YouTuber. You are somewhat a slave to the technology. Okay. Old boys get their first touch of the ball. And they win it back from us. So first, first thing I'm noticing is that the opposition AI is doing a much better job of keeping the ball away from us. And they are pressing more intently. But the good thing is that they are still prone to mistakes. And this is something that I've seen from other YouTubers playing pairs. Uh, that even on the top difficulty, your opposition team will misplace passes. Which is good, because the last thing you want is to be playing on maximum difficulty and for the team that you're playing against to play like a complete bunch of robots. You want a little bit of realism in your football, you know? Here's Wanfran on the right, crosses it in. Nothing doing. 
Back out to Anfran though. Newcastle making good use of possession. Lobbed little ball into the box and it's cleared by the number nine. Oh, little bit of a glitch there. No worries though, we're back. We have the ball still. Here's Willems on the left-hand side. He's got a wand of a left foot. They don't deal with that cross particularly well. That's encouraging. And Zakaria, lots of time to pick the ball up and pick a pass. Gets it out to Nkunku. Into Junior. He's just dispossessed, but he does manage to get his body in between the ball and the opposition player, meaning that he retains possession. And we get another chance at this. And that's gone out. Has it gone out? It might not have. No, we've kept it in again. Shelby! Oh, it's a brilliant, brilliant strike from outside the area. Goalkeeper should have done a lot better. It was right down the middle of the goal, but Shelby won't care. Captain has struck. I don't know why Shelby's captain. Probably because after Hummels got injured, it defaulted to him. But I'm perfectly happy for Shelby to be holding on to... The captain's armband. Was there a deflection going through there? Let's have a look on the replay. This replay won't tell us much, or will it? No, no deflection. It goes straight through. The goalkeeper beaten all ends up. No idea what he was looking at. What is going on? This is really glitchy. What the hell? Is this what happens when you play on superstar difficulty? The cameras just get all kinds of weird. Okay, we've managed to get hold of the ball again. Interception. So far, I don't mind playing Superstar at all. Feels like the game is actually more natural, if anything. The AI is misplacing passes. Yes, they are more difficult to play against in some ways such as the closing down but in other ways the physicality of the game I actually really like it I think this is going to be a fun game next season now do we get another glitch no we don't ok that seems to have settled down a little bit we'll keep an eye on that though not really made too many chances that's one of the things that I've noticed obviously the Shelby goal a long distance effort we've not managed to work ourselves into a goal scoring position particularly as of yet so that could be something which is going to be a struggle for us next year but intercepting the ball certainly not a problem and here's Junior ah oh, no the pass just not quite right shame good intentions behind it but the placement just not quite right Not bad from them. Ah, it's a loose ball. Goes out of play. Newcastle throw. There's another glitch. It's really interesting. that I've, I've not noticed that at all. Until now. Oh dear. I was trying to pass that to the man behind. But uh, it decided it didn't want to let me. Never mind. Long ball, aimless long ball, I should say. Easily dealt with by Mats Hummels, towering German defender. Only one year left on his contract at the moment. We are going to look to possibly extend it just for another year. Hummels is so important to this side. I just can't imagine being without him now. It is going to happen eventually. But I'm perfectly happy to have him retire at the club. We're not hurting for funds particularly. We don't need the cash injection from a transfer. Even at this late stage of his career, he's easily worth 20, 30 million pounds. Ooh, 
No, that was a bit loose. Not quite into the path of the player. Ooh, lovely. Nice crunching tackle there. Fans love to see those kind of challenges. Werner. Uh, no, couldn't quite get it to Junior. And that's the end of the first half. It's been a fun game to play. Not sure how fun it's been to watch, but uh, I, I thought that was a pretty fun first half of football. Plenty of possession, only the one shot. And that did result in a goal. So, Superstar at the moment looks as though it's going to be a difficulty that is slightly more bereft of chances. Now watch as the goals rain in in the second half. Properly tucked myself up there. Good defensive header. Shelby needs to get that tackle in. He's given away a foul. Again, I feel like it's collision detection that's played a part in that. He didn't particularly foul the man. It was just they came together. 50-50 at best. Wall needs to jump. Oh, it's off the crossbar. Excellent free kick. Off the crossbar, as I said. And the follow-up from Cavani just past the post. We're fortunate to keep hold of our lead there. That's their first shot on target. Is it on target if it hits the crossbar? It's one of those weird stat things that come up every now and then. Some places do count woodworkers on target, which is strange because you'd think on target would be destined to go in the back of the net. But, yeah, there we go. Ooh, little bit underpowered, that pass, and it's led to... The old boys gaining possession and they're looking to break. They still have a reasonable amount of pace considering that they're all about to retire. Linesman flags for a foul, but play is allowed to continue. Good advantage. Oh, and that's a brilliant header. What a fantastic goal that was from Cavani. You don't give him space in the middle of the park because he'll do that all day long. And it was a good advantage played by the referee in the end. It's one all. Here we go. I think maybe I'm just guilty of overthinking this a little bit. I, I'm trying to play in a more conservative way when really I should just play my natural game and see how that does for us. Old boys definitely improved in the second half. Or maybe we've just got slightly worse. I don't know. <sighs> First time pass. Just not going to find its mark. I'll make a couple of substitutions in a minute. Just to freshen things up. Get Oh dear. Vernon very nearly on the ball there. Couldn't quite get his foot on it in the end. That's going to be an easy ball for Stebo. Through to Hummels. Back to his central defensive partner, Tadebo. Into Shelby now. Looking to play a simple ball through. It didn't quite come off for him. And now we're in a bit of trouble again. And Hummels alive to the danger. Tadebo, good save from the goalkeeper. They're much more alive to loose balls, it seems, on this level. Oh dear, oh dear. Shelby just standing there waiting for the ball. And the opposition steals in. Lob ball over to the other side of the pitch where there's a bit more room. Out to the wing. Oh, that's nice. No, he's given a free kick. Damn it. That's a shame. Nice build-up. Little flicked header from Werner. 
And yeah, you can't really argue with that, can you? Maximan fouling his uh, marker. Okay, let's try and make some changes, see if we can turn this game around a bit. What have we got? Well, first of all, let's get Henriks on, because his crossing is definitely going to be something we can take advantage on. We're also going to bring on... Ooh, Paredes, I think. And Almiron in midfield. That'll do for now. Sicario with a good interception. His passing's just letting us down a little bit here. Not quite accurate enough. And oh my word, Cavani's through on goal here. And he's put it past the post. Gunn's asking a lot of questions of his defence and he's got every right to. A player of Cavani's advancing years should not be able to get clear of the defence like that. And these visual glitches continue to plague our game today. That's very strange that they've all started seemingly since we moved up in difficulty level. Into Sh Nice easy ball into Shelby. Plays it along to Zakaria. Into Hummels now. Playing split centre backs. Here we go. Almiron down the left. He's got a left foot on him. If he can find the cross, which he can... Uh, header never really going to trouble the goalkeeper. boys on the attack again easily into the hands of Gunn, no trouble for him just going to make a change for next time play is stopped I'm going to put Xavi on just because I think his range of passing a bit more uh, to our advantage than Shelby's and I'm going to put Hayden on not because I think Zakari has done badly, but just because I want to give him some more game time. We've got one more substitution that we can use. Let's put Fazio on for Tadebo. And let's switch those two around so Hummels is actually playing in his preferred position of right side of the centre-backs. Let's see how we do with that. That's if the change actually can take place with the limited time that we have left. This is nice build up. Nice cross. Couldn't quite get his head onto it, Paredes. Oh, damn it. And that's it. That's the final whistle. Time called on 20 odd fantastic footballing careers, including Edinson Cavani, Dimitri Payet, and Karim Benzema, who never even got on the pitch. Newcastle players applauding the old boys as they take one final lap around this famous old stadium. Taking it all in for one last time. Daniel De Rossi, a fantastic player in his day. Now at the end of a long career. But I have a feeling that this isn't the last we've seen of them. So there we go. Only two shots managed overall from our side. Superstar difficulty definitely making it more difficult to fashion chances. That's something that's going to be interesting to have a look at next season. Uh, as for the ratings, pretty much middle of the road. Paredes not really managing to do much of anything today with a 4.5 rating. That's a real shame for him. They didn't even use substitutions, these old boys. That's embarrassing. Okay, well, there we go. That is officially the end of the season. 
and the end of this episode. Thank you very much for joining me. When you return next time, hopefully we'll have done our transfer business and it will be the beginning of a brand new season when on Superstar Difficulty, once again, Superstar Difficulty this time round, we're going to do our best to retain the Premier League and maybe even retain the European Champions crown. There we go. I, would, I don't know why I say European Champions. Uh, <laughs> the European Championship. There we go. That, that's, that's what I mean. So, thanks very much for watching. Take care. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.